So a very warm good afternoon to everyone. This is Shruti Anand, journalist at KT Road News, media partners NCCN. And uh, I'm very delighted as I'm uh, present with Mr. Mithilesh. Hello, Mithilesh. How are you? I'm fine, Shruti. Good evening, uh, so, everyone. Sorry? I said good evening, everyone. Yeah, okay. So uh, I would like to know from you that uh, how do you think that the situation has affected the life of a student? How do you think that the co-curricular activities, uh, which plays a very, a very important role in the life of a student, will be affected? See, students are affected, but uh, we being an educator are trying to cover up with the things, like by taking online lectures. We are conducting sessions on the stress management. We are engaging students in different co-curricular activities like performing yoga at home, performing some physical activities, physical exercise. And I may say this is a good time also because students are getting time with their parents at home. Normally in cities like Mumbai, when parents are completely busy with their own work, now parents have some time and this is a correct time where parents are spending a quality time with their kids. We are there definitely. If the conditions were normal, we teachers are always there to tease them. But this time, due to Corona, I may say it is a good time for parents to spend a lot of time with their kids. They can understand their kids. And if you see the surrounding, I personally feel that the bonding between the parents and the family has increased a lot. And this is a positive factor. After yeah, we come absolutely. out of this, after we come out of this condition, this will really work. We'll know our families better. Being a teacher, I didn't even get time for with my family. So I can like spend time with my family. I have more time to think over what to be done in future. And definitely this is an eye-opener for us. If we do not respect the nature, nature will definitely give us something back. Truly. Well, very well said. That is uh, actually, you know, it's a fact to be stated. Also, uh, Mithilesh, uh, congratulations on winning the Excellence Award. How do you feel it? As you know, uh, for now, you're receiving it uh, virtually. How do you feel about it? See, receiving an award is always special. Okay. The institute uh, which we are having, uh, I have two partners, Mr. Jaldi Singh Bones and uh, Kashish Talreja. Mm -hmm. uh, we as a coaching institute won uh, the best coaching class award for CBSE in school section mm -hmm. in uh, 2019, 1819. In 2019 20, we again won, uh, won the best classes award. Uh, that was received by us in Bangalore and Mr. Daljeet Singh was heading us mm -hmm. and he's, he's the back pillar of my institute and he's the back pillar who stand behind uh, the teacher and makes the things possible for us. Oh, Awards that's always great. Please go on. You know, uh, he is uh, working with us and uh, we are happy to have him uh, as a leader with us. As you told that leadership always makes a difference being a good leader helps. So if I'm getting this award as a teacher, it's I will create this award to my partners, especially to Mr. Dalit Bones, who has helped me a lot to flourish in my career. He always says that you focus on your studies, I will take care of the rest of the things. And oh, that's very well said. That's actually very inspiring. So <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for sharing your views with us and many congratulations on winning the award. Thank you, Shruti. Yeah, so that was uh, me, Shruti Anand, journalist at K12 News, media partners, NCCN, and India's largest K12 community network. Uh, present, virtually present with Mr. Mithilesh. Thank you.